Hey guys, it's Lauren here with Nat20AU and today I'm just doing a really quick Marvel Villainous unboxing. I wanted to show you guys this game because I'm so exceptionally excited for it. Now this is gifted to me by the Australian and New Zealand distribution team at Ravensburger in exchange for a review, which I have not yet done, but I will be doing very soon. And I'm just so excited for it. So right off the bat, you obviously have your instruction booklet and this just highlights the components and the setup and the game overview and so on and so forth. Now from what I know about this, game this is very similar to the original Disney Villainous and its expansions but I'm not entirely sure how much of this is different. You've got the player boards here which um, are very very beautiful they're just so well done you can see they're bigger than the original Disney Villainous ones usually those uh, Disney Villainous ones end here um, but this one is full size which gives you a lot more room for cards and a lot more room for abilities and so on which looks really good. The art on these is fantastic they're just so well done there's so much love that went into this game and I really really appreciate it as a Disney fan. You've got Hela, Taskmaster, Killmonger, Thanos and Ultimate Ultron in this one and I'm really really keen to try all of these um, villains because they're just so beautiful and so well done and they're the villains we love to hate. I'm going to jump ahead here and skip part of this video to the next part just to show off the inside of the box a little bit better. Um, these figures are very very similar to the original Disney villainous figures. They're a little bit different but they're still really really beautiful. You can see how well done they are. I believe these ones are hollow um, whereas in Disney villainous the figures are like a softer heavy plastic and they're full like they are solid you could throw those things at the wall and nothing's going to happen to them these ones are a little bit of a harder plastic but they feel like they're hollow inside um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing they're still so beautiful but they are a lot lighter and a lot different feeling than the original Disney villain in this one's You've got all five of your villains here. This is Thanos is here that I'm showing off. And the last one is Taskmaster there inside the box. Um, they're just, they're really cool. I love them so much. The ones in Disney Villainous are some of my favorite. And I actually have some plans to do some really cool photos with those later on. You've got the exact same power tokens that you have in Disney Villainous here. Um, but these ones, they appear like... Hela is the one who uses them the most, which I'm not entirely sure about, but it does look like that as they have her symbol on them. And you've got the plastic cauldron, which is very similar to Disney Villainous, where your power tokens sit. These are the player aids. Um, I love these. If you haven't played Disney Villainous, all of the villains have different objectives. And the entire point of the game is to reach your objective, defeat your heroes, and so on and so forth. And your opponents need to be stopping you while that happens. Um, so each book here highlights exactly what has to be going on and if you know roughly how to play Disney Villainous you just need to read your booklet for your villain and you're good to go. Um, I jump ahead again here just to show off the reference cards and show you a little bit more about those Disney um, villain objectives. You can see here that these cards will tell you the objective of each villain. So you'll have one of those cards and it'll tell you what they're trying to do. So in Disney Villainous, for example, Prince John is trying to get a certain amount of money. That'll be highlighted on the card and it lets you make sure that person isn't doing it and target them with some bad stuff later on. The cards in this um, version of Villainous are beautiful. They're so fantastic. I love the contrast of the dark pictures and the light text. Um, they're very, very pretty. The artwork is very, very lovely. They pick all the really good heroes and the heroes that are the most popular instead of more obscure heroes, which I guess you can assume would be the right choice, but I really like that they highlighted the ones that are the most popular. You've got the Infinity Stone um, cards here and now these are if I ever get them open because I struggle with plastic um, they are um, cardboard tokens almost um, so they sit out I'm not sure how relevant that is to the game because I'm not sure what they do if they only come out with Thanos or if they come out in general but they are like little cardboard cards and they're really really cool so I'm really excited to try those out there's a lot of cards in this one and my concern here is that they won't fit when they're sleeved. If you guys know me, you know I'm a chronic sleever and they don't look like they're going to fit in. Um, so that might be a situation where we have to get rid of our insert. But otherwise, I really like the insert for this. I really like the cards. I'm really, really excited to play with both. So that's the unboxing for Marvel Villainous. I'm really, really keen for this. Um, if you guys have any questions or want to know more, make sure you reach out and send me a message on Instagram or here on YouTube. Um, I can't wait to bring you guys a review for this one and show you guys a little bit more about what this one entails. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you all and I love hearing from you guys and I hope you guys have a fantastic evening.